Once my little girl learned all her ending sounds, I made this little game for her. As you can see, she loves teddy bears, so I've made a little teddy bear shaped game. These are the little bodies of the teddy bears. It's just a circle, two little bigger circles for the feet, and two little small circles for the hands, and then a big circle for the head and two little small circles for the ears. So basically you're working with circles, which we all know how to do. I put the ending sounds on the little bear's bodies and the beginning sounds on their little heads. So we'll start with a head. We'll read it quit and we'll try to match it with a little body. Quint. Hmm. Yeah. Quiff. Quisk, no, quilt, ooh, that sounds right. We have our little teddy bear and we can put it off to the side. We'll go for our next one. Jusk, juft, I find that it's good for them to try them out. That way it's also extra practice reading the ones that don't fit. Junk, till they find the one that fits. But they've had even more practice than reading just that one. Misk, mift, milk. Often you'll find what where it is when you find out where it, where it ain't. So that's part of learning, solving problems, finding solutions, finding out where it isn't. Delt, desk, there we go. And on and on till all our little teddy bears are put together. I hope your child likes this little idea and that you can have just as much fun as we've had with this game and learning our ending sound.